Hello everybody, I'm here to give you a very brief tutorial on Artemis Spaceship Bridge Simulator. Today we will be talking about the Helm Station. The Helm Station is very easy to work with, and is also probably one of the most important stations in the game. From here, as you can guess, you control the speed of your ship. So, with my compass here, which is what this ring is on the outside, I have a bearing that allows me to, to figure out what direction I'm heading. So if I need to head, turn to heading 4-0, I just click. As you can see, the ship is rotating. It is now oriented 40 degrees. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with aviation and navigation terminology, that would be heading 0-4-0. One of the obvious things that you can do as helm is control the speed of the ship. So you have your sublight drive here, which we're going to go to 100%. Obviously, as you click and turn, it affects, obviously, the direction and orientation of your ship, along with the speed It'll determine how quickly or slowly you uh, approach or move away from a, a target. Now, this is a space station right here, so we're going to head full throttle towards it, and we're going to go ahead and request a dock and we can we can zoom in zoom in and out so over here zoom 2 zoom 3 zoom 4 that's obviously out and then if we zoom all the way in that's zoom 1 and about 3 400 distance which i think is in meters but i'm not 100% sure you can go ahead and move in for dock now if you coordinate your dock with comms comms can call ahead and say hey DS-1, we're coming in to dock with you, and they'll go ahead and give the call, and you'll dock very, very rapidly. When you dock, your energy recharges, which is displayed right here, and then any weapons that you have that are currently being built at the station get loaded onto your ship. When you want to undock, you just simply pull your sublight drive up, and away you go. There's no undocking procedure. So we're going to go ahead and zoom out again here. And we're going to bring our ship around. And this little green bar over here is your warp drive. Now there are two different FTL drives that you've got. You've got warp, and then you have jump. I'm only going to display warp drive because it's the most common. So I'll click up here and nothing happens. Click again, nothing happens. One more time that puts me to warp one. Two more times puts me at two. Three more times puts me at three. And two more times put me at four. Now I want you to notice up here how the energy was draining as we were doing that. Going to warp requires energy. In fact, energy recharges very, very, very slowly if most of your systems are shut down. But as far as you're concerned at Helm, you want to try and conserve energy. So if you can get somewhere at a decent rate at, say, warp 2, which is about halfway, you want to do that instead of going warp 4. Because if you notice, warp 4 is draining energy a lot faster than warp 2 is, or warp 1 even. If you also notice to turn, you must click inside the compass here. So we're going to head to bearing 260 and we're going to come back in range of DS-1. Now while we're waiting to come in range, you'll notice that you have a shields button over here on your right side. This raises and lowers the shields. You get a shields active notification here, and down here you will also get a visual indication of how strong the shields are. Green is good, yellow is weak, black means they're gone. Also, if you're at warp, while the shields are up, energy drains significantly faster as well. Finally, if you are in a position where you need to kite an enemy and you are using your standard sublight drive, you can click reverse and you'll just go full back. Also, you can use the escape key to get your hotkey between reverse and normal. One, two, three, 
and four are your hotkeys for warp. And then you just click to turn around. You also have this neutral, climbing, and diving. This gives you a little bit of a, a three degree feel. And by three degree I mean three dimensions. If you notice over here on this little bar on the left, this little red pip here is going up because we're climbing on the z-axis. And if I hit diving, we're going down on the z-axis. I hit neutral, we're in good shape. So we're going to go ahead and go back to warp 1. This right here controls information for the captain's screen. The front view puts our uh, external sensors towards the front. Let me dock here real quick. Right view views the right side of the ship. Rear view looks aft. And left view looks left. Cam go ahead, goes ahead and just brings that up. Now this is all information that will be displayed on the main screen. So if I go visual here, this gives me a visual view of what's going on. Okay, so that's the space station we're coming up on. So I click back to helm, request dock, and that's what it looks like when we're coming into dock. You can also click LRS here, and this gives you a long range scan view of the system. Now for this tutorial I'm doing just a very simple map so these little gray dots here are usually going to end up being bad guys. Really and truly Helm is pretty straightforward that's most of what you need to know. The biggest thing that you need to be aware of is if you need to change the captain's uh, main screen so you've got info at long range scan and tactical view. Long range scan is this right here this is your visual that you get from your cameras so if I do a right view okay I guess it doesn't do it on that one but on the main screen you will see a change of the view uh, in games that I play we call it awesome view because we like to watch stuff blow up from the external visualization instead of these simple vector graphics but the big thing you have to coordinate is the tactical officer or the weapons officer also controls the shields so make sure that one person on your team is dedicated to controlling the shields because there have been instances where we've been playing and nobody raised the shields or Helm decided to raise the shields and then Tactical also decided to raise the shields so the shields went up and then the shields went right back down. So there you go. That's Helm in a nutshell. It's very straightforward. Good luck on Helm.